If you try Round Rock Honey, you're going to immediately taste something different. It's not going to taste like the big mass produced honeys that you get in the little honey bear. With Round Rock Honey, you're gonna get the taste of the flowers, the taste of the field, the natural sugar profile. You're gonna get all the good things that you would normally get with honey. And that's why people buy Round Rock Honey. You're getting what you pay for, you're getting very high quality, and it tastes great. One of the great things that people always tell us is that our honey tastes better than other honeys. And that's because we blend honey together. We'll have a group of hives from San Antonio, another one from Waco, another one from around College Station, another one from our hives up in Dallas. And we bring all those together, but we don't just kind of bring them together in a haphazard way. We bring them together in a very precise way. Because when you taste certain types of honey, it'll be sweet like honey is supposed to be, but it may also have a sour tinge. Then you pull in a willow honey from say Northeast Texas, and that has a sweet, almost syrupy flavor. Then you bring in a mesquite flavor, which has a high sweet taste, a very clean sweet taste. And if you mix those in certain proportions in a tank, it's the honey from multiple backyards throughout Texas that are coming together to create this fantastic flavor, this just feel of a Texas meadow and the flavor of a Texas meadow. And that's what people really respond to. So at Round Rock Honey, we are all about producing honey, naturally, we're a honey company, but we also like to participate in a lot of things that aren't necessarily just about honey. At this present time, at the moment that this video is being filmed, we're involved in four national studies related to bees. We are also working with a professor at the UT School of Architecture on the hive design of the future. And that's really, really cool. We are supported by HEB and their Our Texas, Our Future program going around Texas on a talking tour called Talking Bees. We like to support community efforts, big innovative art projects. We're doing a lot of things and we think that our customers deserve nothing less. When I started, one thing I noticed is that people were really hurting bees because they were scared of them. They would swat at them, they would spray them, they treated them as though bees were their mortal enemy. We value education and we want to enrich our community. And in particular, we want to make sure that people understand honeybees. We don't want people to be afraid of bees. We want them to learn that they can live in nature and even celebrate nature without fear. When you support Round Rock Honey, when you buy a bottle of Round Rock Honey, you are supporting beekeeping as a whole. We generate new beekeepers constantly through our beekeeping school. We generate constant interest and constant learning and constant curiosity about bees. You're supporting all of those efforts. We need to live collaboratively with bees and with the rest of the natural world as well. If we don't, we run the risk of no longer existing. That's why we do what we do.